It's Rob and Liz in the morning, his radio. And Brian's sitting in for Rob the next couple of days. Of course, we got Scooter along with us, Yeah. Too. Just dubbed Scooter this morning. Do you Thank do that you. all the time? Do you call people names they're not? Well, so Ninja, our morning show producer, I, I will call her Ninja sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, Ninja. Some hey, people ninja. say Ninja. Say what? Ninja. Ninja. They give yeah. a nickname to the nickname. Right? I, I don't know what it is. I call um, Jessicans. That's my uh, my oldest granddaughter, who's yeah. 20 months old, Jessica. And so, yeah, probably. I guess I do. Bri Bri. So, uh, yeah, my wife hasn't called me by my name for 30 years. What so. does she call you? Uh, she has a different name every day. So. I love it. Right now, it's Sweet Tater. Is it Sweet Tater? I am what I am. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So, I like sweet tater. So Scooter and uh, you were talking about Scooter. I'm like, wh- where did that come from? Is that if you've been calling him that? It reminded me of us of a Scooter Crunch. What is the Scooter Crunch? Oh, co- come on, Scooter. You know what a Scooter Crunch is, don't you? Yeah, I do now. I had to look it up, but I've never called it that. What? What? I have, do now. Okay. What? What is? Do you want to reveal what it is? Uh, it's like an or you ice. Want me to? It's like an ice cream. Tell him, Scooter. Ice cream. It's, ice cream. it's an ice cream pop. It's it's got the like the crushed up chocolate cookie. on it and chocolate. Yeah, you know, chocolate, chocolate or strawberry and versions. And strawberry gotcha. And You're showing. But me a I picture never now. knew it was called a scooter crunch. What'd but you I've call eaten it? them for years. Yeah, what that we, ice cream thing? Because I remember. <laughs> see, I don't think I've ever had one because I was always the push up girl or the um, what's the other one? The the red, white, and blue thing. Oh, the pop. The uh, Bo- bomb pop. Bomb pop, yes. Bomb pop. Okay. So those yeah. were the two things that I would typically get. But what is, is it coconut? No, no, no. That's like, um, that's kind of like the, um, oh gosh, like the uh, the Cookies? toppings on a, like a pie, you know, like the uh, crumbles and oh, stuff really? like that. Oh, really? Yeah. That does not sound good. Is it good, Scooter? It's good. It's good. <laughs> Rob and Liz in the morning. On his radio. Dominic has such a sweet, sweet heart. Oh, yeah. They were on the uh, road to school one day, and he was uh, asking all kinds of questions about Hurricane Ian. And, uh, you know, asking questions, what's going on. And his mom was upset. He knew that his mom was upset. Mm -hmm. And so he, when they got home, he went and he got his piggy bank. He's seven years old. And he said, look, the people in Florida need this money more than I do. I want to donate it for hurricane relief. Isn't that wild? Now, you may think, okay, Dominic is probably in one of the neighboring states or he's, you know, in Florida. No, he's in Indiana. And his heart is so big, he could see that people, you know, outside of his community were suffering and he just wanted to get, I mean, there were quarters, there there was some folded money in there. And mom got so inspired thinking, my seven-year-old just gave every last cent that he had in the world. Who knows? Maybe he wanted a new video game or some candy. I mean, whenever when you're when you're seven and you got ten bucks, that's like a million bucks, man. You got a lot of money, and so he had this piggy bank. And so she shot a little video because she was just so proud of his son, of her son, and posted it. But it went viral because people were just so inspired by him and inspired her to rent a U-Haul and going to fill it up with supplies, and she's. So taking it down to Florida now. Yeah, she got people to donate, you know, peanut butter and bottled water and all these things. And so, yeah, they, they rented a U-Haul, took it down to Florida and mm-hmm. helped people in need, inspired by a seven-year-old look. You're listening to Rob and Liz in the morning. On his radio. We got this text from Christine, and I just love this. Uh, a few moments ago, we played um, Jordan Feliz, Jesus is Coming Back. Mm-hmm. And she said... Wow, thank you. Thank you for playing that song, Jesus is Coming Back. I really needed that. She said, yesterday was a very rough day. Nothing seemed to be going right. I just wanted to hug Jesus so hard and praying that today is going to be better. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just that right song at the right time. And that song, it may have been, you know, a bop for you. Like you're like, Jesus is coming back and you're into it and you're doing your thing. Because you were actually doing that. Right. You were. You were bopping. Right. I love that song. But it just, it hit her different Mm -hmm. because in that moment, she needed to hear whatever struggle that we're going through. Yeah. That man on the other side of that is just Jesus waiting on you. Yeah. 
and, with open arms. And that's the thing that happens because uh, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever is happening, you'll hear a song and you're cranking it up because that is your jam right. for the day. But y- you may be going through something and there's a lyric the Holy Spirit uses us and it's like, oh my gosh, I needed to hear that like God is rolling up his sleeves to help me. Man, right. I love that. Or we do some crazy, wacky story mm-hmm. and we're laughing and you're laughing along with us, but you're going through a moment of grief or a tough season and you go, man, I needed a laugh this morning. Just a little, you know, what is it, levity? Just, yes. Just lighten my spirit a mm-hmm. little bit. And, you know, God makes that possible through you. Yeah. You, someone gave a gift. Maybe it was mm-hmm. your gift that you gave um, earlier this year to this ministry. And it allowed that song to be played. Yeah. And so that Christine, who's going through something really difficult, yep. heard it. And now she has a different perspective on her on her day on her life yeah got a Just, musical hug from jesus you know really it, it, that mm. is so sweet i love that so let me let's pull back the curtain just a hair this morning and let you know te- technically some things that are happening. Our text line is down. Mm-hmm. We can see if you text us, we just can't reply back. We're not so, ghosting you, yeah, I we're promise. Not, we promise. So that <laughs> that's what's going on right there. So if you want to make a gift, you can still do that right now, but through the website mm-hmm. at hisradio.com his radio. or through the My His Radio app. And you we can. would love that. Christine, I think, would be very thankful as well because you made that song possible for mm-hmm. her. share a begins on Tuesday, you can get involved with a great jumpstart gift right now. You're listening to Rob and Liz in the morning on his radio. You know, I, I, uh, Brian, do not ride roller coasters. Mm-hmm. I cannot stand them. Like, not I'll do thing. a lot of things. I'll repel. I am not afraid of heights. But the roller coaster, I do have an Apple Watch. Here's why. Apple Watch and the iPhone 14, I guess. Yeah. If you get on a roller coaster and you have one of these, okay, they could potentially call 911. So this, this not potentially, it's happening. Right. Well, I'm saying yours could or may not. Oh, that's crazy. It's crazy, but it makes sense. Yeah. This is why I don't ride roller coasters because you're on this thing and it thinks you're in a car crash. I know. I know, and, and I've because I've seen the commercials for him, and it's like the guy runs into a fruit truck or something like yeah. that. So it looks like you've been in a crash. Oh yes, I have. So, <laughs> so I think it was happening in uh, in Ohio, and uh, oh, so they've Cedar had Point like or yeah, something? they've had like six calls, and and they're show, EMS is like showing up and going. There's no accident here. There's nothing going on. So Apple says it will get better. It will get better. Oh, as it becomes more yeah, intuitive? Yeah, I guess. Is that what I it guess. is? But there's actually signs being put up. Like Dollywood has a sign up now on some of their <laughs> at some of their roller coasters for people not to wear their watches that <laughs> they could actually like, call or, 911. Or like me, just don't ride the roller coaster. <laughs> You're listening to Rob and Liz in the morning. His radio. Here on his radio, I'm Brian and for Rob. Hey, good morning. Um, just wanted to share with you guys um, those nicknames that you have for people. Um, I always call those um, love names. These are these are names that we always come up when we come up with when we have like a, a good warm fuzzy feeling about somebody. So we call them love names. Oh, that is so sweet. I love it. And all started because Scott Watson is now Scooter. Yeah, well, ju- I think just for today, I'm just going to call you Scooter. I don't. Uh, want it's to not going to be just for today. That's, I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. Time date stamp on this one. Uh, you <laughs> are only. <laughs> you stuck. Did you have uh, okay, Scooter? Did you have a nickname growing up? You know, when I was little, uh, I was small. I, you know, I didn't really grow vertically there for a few years until I hit you know <laughs> the, uh, the yeah the vertically challenged until I hit you know like junior high. But a really good friend of mine just called me Little Man. Hey, little man. I like that. Ah. I'll say little man when I see a little, you know, yeah. boy toddler. Hey, little man, what's going on? So you, you like Scooter or Little Man? Because I'm going to be calling you one of the two. So. Oh, I like There's, them both. Okay. Oh, okay. How about you? Yeah. What do they call you? Lizard. Okay. I, I mean, it's it's easy and it makes sense, I it's guess. it's mean. Well, I don't have dry skin, I guess, like a lizard, but uh, at least hopefully. But mm, yeah, okay. that's what I was called. All right, Ninja, did you have a nickname besides Ninja? My little brother couldn't say my name when he was little, so he would call me Blibliss. What is it? Blibliss. 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 Blib- 
Blizz? Okay, because let's explain. Your he, name is Elizabeth. Yeah, he couldn't say Elizabeth, so he would say Bliblis, and then the family started calling me that. Like they would refer to me as that to him. I know you're only in your mid twenties. <laughs> that is your grandma name. When you get to be a grandma, Bliblis is going to be that. That is amazing. Come on over to the Bliblis house. Okay. How about you, Jakey? Um, my mom used to call me JB McGillicuddy. <laughs> JB McGillicuddy. <laughs> That's a long name. That's I'm pretty sure cute. it was after a book. Man, that's stretching out pretty good. But that's a good one because nobody else has that name. Yeah. That's a really good yeah, one. All yeah, right, Brian, yeah. your turn. All right. Uh, they called me Jet. And so everybody thought it was because of my blazing fast speed, which was funny because I was short and small and fat and I wasn't very <laughs> fast. But anyway, I, at junior high, the junior high boys basketball JV coach, I was like the manager. Right. And so he looked at me one day and said, boy, your name is Jet. Because you just look, because they used to use Wilson Jet basketballs. Okay. That's what we used. They said, because you look like a basketball with arms and legs. Oh, no. <laughs> Rob and Liz in the morning. On his radio. I love how we could connect through the uh, My His Radio app with that open mic feature. You can leave us a message anytime. Good morning. So my niece's name is Elizabeth, and I have always called her Lizard Butt. And even though she is 20 years old, I am Aunt Nana because when she was little, she could not say Jana. I love that. I, I have a tendency if I don't know a little, you know a little kid's name or, or whatever or something, I'll say Pumpkin Butt. So I get that. Hey, pumpkin butt. Do you really? I do. Oh, man. I know. It, it just comes out, and I can't help it. And if you're 40 and I say it, I'm sorry. Oh, but anyway, man. Cindy texted and said, <laughs> okay, so I want to tell Liz it's okay to be called lizard. My husband calls me a lizard, and he means it in a very loving way. And I love that I am called lizard. Come here, my little scaly monster. I know, right? <laughs> Cold-blooded <laughs> scaly monster. I get it. Jennifer says, I call my niece Alana Bug, and my little girl I sometimes call Doodle bug. Oh. And I think that's the thing. Like, if you give somebody a nickname, you might put bug or butt or, you know, something on the end of it. I think it's super cute. I want to say I've never put butt Either at the one. end of anybody's name. Anybody's name. You're listening to Rob and Liz in the morning. His radio. We're talking nicknames. My nickname growing up was Lizard. Mm-hmm. Um, I give nicknames to just about everybody in my life. I kind of probably say Bri Bri sometimes for you, uh, Brian. Okay. But, but it's not something that I use all the time. And you, we mostly call you Mama Liz. Mostly call me Mama Liz. You don't use Lizard that no, much we for don't. me. But but I will now. You guys are amazing. Seriously, I just dropped my kids off, and um, you are part of our morning and all day routine. And you just make us smile. Well, you make us smile right back. Okay, I have to ask you: Is Fledge your real name, or is that a nickname? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm the youngest of three boys, and our last name is Fiamingo with an I. But all our friends growing up thought it was flamingo like a bird and so my oldest brother's um, friends would come over and they would call me fledgling because a fledgling is a little bird that can't fly yet and i kept that name i took away the ling and now i'm just known as fledge i've had it for 40 something years that is an amazing story yes that is the best story best nickname story i think i've ever heard in my life the only one that knows my real name is the irs <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, honey, they know it. <laughs> they know more than your name. <laughs> Listen, good luck for next week. We're praying for you guys that the Lord will provide through his people.